it off with uh, Ryan O'Halloran from the Denver Post. Go ahead, Ryan. Patrick, congratulations. Um, you're joining three veteran corners in Darby, Callahan, and Fuller. How much do you think you'll benefit from being around those guys? I benefit a lot, you know, learning from those guys, uh, very experienced uh, guys in the NFL, you know, just picking their brain, learning from them each and every day. Uh, I think it will be a benefit for me. Next one, Troy Ring. Patrick, congratulations. You know, playing uh, for your dad in high school, another DB that was in the NFL, do you feel like you're polished and you can contribute in day one? And second part of that is how much does it help going to join a team with Jerry Judy, your former teammate? Oh uh, Yeah, I think I could come in day one and, you know, just make an impact on the team, you know, by my play play style, by my play traits. I think I'll come in and make an immediate impact. And, you know, I've been talking to Drew uh, for a little minute. Um, you know, we haven't been talking about joining the same team, but, um, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy how things all circle around together. Um, I know he's probably very excited. You know, I'm very excited to go up there with him uh, and reunite with him. Next one, George Doyer. Hey, Patrick, congratulations. Um, can you kind of take us through tonight? When did you find out that it was going to be the Broncos and, and how much have you maybe spoken to them throughout this process? Yeah, so um, I got the call immediate, immediately. Um, I realized it was a Denver uh, area code, so I knew uh, what team was going to pick me. So, um, you know, I was very excited, uh, emotional at the same time, too. Uh, it's a very exciting feeling. And, yeah. Next one, Eric Jalala. Yeah, Patrick, wanted to follow up first on how much contact you had with the Broncos in the pre-draft process. And then second, just what sort of help was it to go against the quality of receivers you had at Alabama and then, of course, in the SEC? Um, yeah, um, I got – I had some communication with the Broncos. Um, it wasn't um, a lot of communication, but it was some communication through some parts. Um, but when I got off the phone with the Broncos, the coaches were very excited to have me up there. Uh, they talked about how I could fill in the key piece, the key role – in their scheme. And so, um, you know, but going against SEC receivers and going against Alabama receivers, of course, like Smitty and Waddle, you know, it helped me prepare for this moment every day and for the next level. Thanks, one, Mike Kliss. Yeah, Patrick, what, who did you think you're going to wind up with tonight? You know, your agent tell you who were the top two or three teams and were you surprised at all by the Broncos because they signed so many corners and free agency? Oh, uh, no, I was surprised by it. But, um, you know, I realized that, um, you know, my agent told me um, through the seventh, seventh pick that it would be open, fully open to me. Um, so I wasn't surprised at it uh, by all. So, um, like I said, you know, I'm just excited, um, ready to go up there and compete. Next one, Brandon Cristal. Uh, Patrick, two for you real quick. Uh, did you expect that uh, JC would go right ahead of you or use that as a little bit of motivation and chip on your shoulder. And then George Payton told uh, Broncos radio that you're a better player than your dad. Do you think that's true? And, and do y'all have that trash talk a little bit? Do you tell him you're better than him? Um, well, you know, I can only control what I can control, you know, teams uh, pick whoever they want to pick. But um, at the end of the day, I feel like when I come in, I'm going to be ready to compete and play. And, you know, I'm going to give my high uh, Broncos nation all I got. Uh, but uh, going on with my dad, um, just hearing that, you know, we talk about it a lot. I don't try to be too cocky about it because, you know, he did, he did his thing. Um, so I'm not – I still got to reach him. I got to still reach that stepping stone. But, you know, it's just a start for me. This is a whole new journey, you know, but I'm, I'm just excited to uh, start and compete. Guys, a reminder, we will have Patrick out here tomorrow, so we'll have time for a couple more. Next one, Andrew. Hey, Patrick, uh, congratulations. From your dad in particular, you just mentioned him. Uh, what did you learn – specifically about football that you've applied into your game? And do you think you're kind of like him as a cornerback? Um, you know, I learned a lot from him. Uh, he, of course, he's a 12-year pro. So, you know, just gaining uh, his insight on things, uh, gaining his perspective on things, I think it helped me a lot on the field. And I feel like his game translated a lot in my game. You know, just learning from him, um, him teaching me different techniques. Um, it definitely helped shape me up for the next level. Next one, Nick Kozmeyer. Yeah, Patrick, this is a defense with, you know, Vaughn Miller, Justin Simmons, Bradley Chubb, coached by Vic Fangio, uh, obviously a well-regarded defensive coach in this league for a very long time. What's your first impression of of this defense as, as you kind of, you know, look around at the, both the personnel and the scheme? Yeah, um, I mean, it's a very stacked defense. Um, I can't wait to compete with those guys at a high level each and every day. Um, you know, I'm just very excited. You know, I think 
when you look at it, all, uh, when it's all said and done, we're going to be uh, the number one defense in the NFL when it's all said and done. Next one, Zach Stevens. Excuse me, Sean Keeler. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, Patrick, congrats, man. Uh, you talked a little bit about scheme. How do you think you're going to fit in a zone scheme with stuff that the, this Broncos defense does? And you excited to be a part of that? Yeah, um, I think I, I fit well. Uh, I think I'm all around corner. I could fit in man zone uh, any way you need me. But, um, yeah, I'm just excited to uh, get in the playbook, understand the scheme, and, you know, just go at it. Next one, Zach Stevens. Patrick, I got two for you. First, congratulations. What what did it feel like to to be a top ten pick tonight? Uh, felt good. Uh, you know, I was thinking top fifteen, uh, top twenty, top ten. So, um, you know, it, it was just very exciting to expect that, and you know, just get the results that you needed. But you know, it doesn't end from here. I still got more work to do. Um, and, you know, it's just a new beginning for me. And my second one is, you said you can have an impact day one. What type of impact do you think you can have with this defense? I could think I have a tremendous impact, you know, just with my experience and knowledge of the game with my high IQ. Uh, I think I can get in the playbook and learn it immediately and, you know, just make an impact on the field. Guys, we'll end with Adam Richardson from the South Florida Central. Go ahead, Adam. Hi, Patrick. Congratulations. Um, my question is kind of in the same vein, uh, you know, coming up with your father playing in the NFL, being highly recruited, growing into a great college defensive back. Uh, tonight, does it kind of feel like maybe like a little bit of relief, like, hey, I made it? Um, yeah, um, I think it's just, a, like I said, it's a new journey, a new stepping stone, but it doesn't stop from here. You know, I still got more work to do. Um, you know, I'm still trying to go in, go in there and work, and I'm trying to be known as one of the best in the game, you know, but I just got to still keep on working and still strive for it. You know, it's more work to be done. Patrick, thanks for taking the time.